Hi everyone, welcome to Duality Repair. Today I'll be doing a review on this Kaiweetz HT118A multimeter. As of December 2020, this runs for about $37 on Amazon, and I'll put a link in the description. So let's talk about it. Here is everything that comes in the box. We of course have the meter in the middle here. We have a pair of standard leads on the top left. It does come with a pair of AA batteries. I'm not familiar with this brand, but I'm pretty sure it's fairly low quality, so I'm not even going to use these. Comes with a Type K thermocouple for temperature measurement and, of course, a user manual. So now let's go over some of the pros and cons of this kit. Pro number one is the set of leads or probes that comes with this kit. They're decent quality and they're really good length, about three and a half to four feet. If your probes are too short, it can make it really difficult to take measurements in certain instances. Pro number two is the user manual. So compared to user manuals from other inexpensive equipment, this manual is relatively detailed, easy to follow, and helpful. Pro number three is the protective case around the multimeter. So it has a stand, which makes it convenient in certain circumstances. It's got probe holders to hold your probes when you're not using it. And the case itself does not prevent you from opening the battery compartment like some other multimeters do. So you can change the batteries really easily. Pro number four is the display. The digits are very large and readable, and it's got a very helpful backlight as well. Pro number five is a very unique function to me. Every time you change functions on the multimeter, the correct ports to place your probes will illuminate. So we'll change to temperature, and you can see we're going to use these two. If we change to microamps, we're going to use the bottom two, and if we go all the way to amps, we're going to use these two. So it can be very helpful to ensure that you don't put your probes in the incorrect positions when you're taking measurements. Pro number six is the fact that both AC frequency and voltage are displayed together. This can be very helpful when you're working on certain types of equipment like audio equipment like I do. Pro number seven is the fact that when you're measuring temperature, the display shows both the degrees centigrade as well as the degrees Fahrenheit. The K-type thermocouple also has a pretty decent response time. Pro number eight is the built-in flashlight that this meter has. So it's not extremely bright, but it's never a bad thing to have an extra light source around. Pro number nine is the ability for this meter to take non-contact voltage measurements. So I'll test here on my light, which of course has AC going to it. So at about two inches, we have the green LED, display shows L for low, and a constant beep. As I get closer to the light, the LED turns red, the display shows an H for high, and the frequency of the beep increases. So I've tested this quite a bit, and it's pretty robust, and it's very useful. The tenth and final pro that I have for this meter is also linked to the one and only con that I have. Pro number 10 is this meter's ability to measure capacitance. The con associated with that is that it takes too long to take the measurement. So I'll show you what I mean. I have a 4700 microfarad capacitor here. I have the negative lead already clipped. I'll hook up the positive lead now. And although it is fairly accurate, it took far too long for my liking to take this measurement, something like seven to 10 seconds. All right, that's the end of my pros and cons list for this meter. Given everything that's included with this kit, as well as the functionality and performance of the meter itself, I would rate the value of this kit at about nine out of 10. Again, given that it's only $37 on Amazon, at least as of December, 2020. So it's a pretty affordable and valuable kit. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.